This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. This video we're going to talk about our perfect G17 Pro and a clamp issue. If the clamp's like hanging down on this side and on that and your clamp's not working anymore. Up on one side and hanging down on the other. or It doesn't matter which side. But um, We did a, one video on this. This is a, kind of a part two to it. If um, This would also work for the G12 Pro. This is just a big unit, but this is G17. First thing you want to do is put your clamp handle all the way up. All the way. Make sure it's all the way up because it could come to a problem if it's not. Okay. Okay, we're looking at um, on the first video we talked about this pin coming out of, of there and just getting it back in. It's e this is a lot easier here on this end than it is on this end. And that little that little hex nut right there coming loose and this pin falling out. So there is another side to this where it could happen to the other side over here. Now if that happens. There's a different way to do it, but um, it's up in there now because I got the clamp all the way up. So you want your clamp all the way up. We're going to have to remove this here to get to it. So I've, I've done some of this already to make, speed this up. And one of the things I did, let me show you, is I removed this 10 millimeter hex, which went right here. So you remove that 10 millimeter hex bolt right there, take it completely out. And then you're going to um, loosen this one up here. This is 14 millimeter. You've got a bottom bolt on it. You've got to loosen the bolt first, and then you can start backing this off just to give you room to get that piece out. So back it up the ways, you know, and get it. So it's got some room there, see the, the gap I got there now? So I'm looking to take this piece out here. So um, this is, when we took this 10 millimeter hex, that goes into here, so now this should be loose, so you should be able to just pull that straight out. Just remember how that goes in like that. It's got the, the threads for it that go right there and the post that goes right into there. Now this part here, you usually have to lift up on it a little bit to get it past this side, and then it just pulls straight out, just like so. Okay, now we're looking at this right here, and that right there. Let me put the clamp down so we can take a little bit of... The clamp don't work anymore, that's part of the clamp, sorry. So you may have to have somebody push the clamp down right here, just manually push it down, and possibly have something... I can jam a screwdriver in there a lot of times to hold it down. And I may or may not need it here. Let me see. See, like you can get like a screwdriver in there. And just jam it in to hold it down. I might put it down further than that though. Okay, so let's hold it down now. And we're looking at this post here coming loose. You want to, um,. Okay, yours got a gap in it here. This video is actually for Scott. Scott, I'm just going to address you here. Um, I'm going to put the clamp back. Yours is kind of up like that. So I can see that mine's loose too. It's, it's loose that you can see it because I can move it up and down. But I'm going to see here. Three millimeter hex. This is, must be a loose here or something because it's not holding that post. Yeah, it's, it's just loose. And that's what happens when these get loose. Those posts come loose and fall out. So now it used to act like your post is down in there further. It seems like you have a little bit bigger gap in between here. So I'm going to try to um, get that post out of there. It seems like it went on that side of it. So I think Scott, what you're going to have to do after you remove this, you're going to have to get that post out of there somehow. You may, you may, you can probably push down on this if you can, like I am. Push down the clamp from the top, like I showed you, and just you can put a, I think it's a seven millimeter screw in there. Let me back this out a little bit. Give me one second here. I mean, you can possibly get that with you know something else, but an easy way to get these out if you can get to them is just to thread a bolt in there at seven millimeters and just and you can just pull them straight out. There's pressure on it now, so it was hard to come out, but anyway, it came out. And yours is kind of loose like that, so let me see. 
it's on a spring. And that's not, that's not working at all. It's not what I want to do, but as you can see, you can pull this all the way out and get to it. But yeah, I don't know what to tell you on this. It's, it's something I can't recreate it here. It's kind of hard to. Um, if you can't get this, it's basically going to have to be sent back to us. But basically, you get, get this out of the way and see if you can somehow get that post out and reposition it back in there. It's going to take some finagling, you know, and messing with it. But that's basically it depends on whether you want to try it or not. It's not hard to get there. You see how easy it was to put that piece in there. And it's not that hard to put it back in. Just Someone's going to have to hold the clamp down now because that's the way the clamp needs to be up. I mean, this all the way pushed down to get back in there. But That's basically it to get it apart to get to that area. I would have to see what yours is doing to, to go from there. But um, let me see this video and see if you want to mess with it or if you want to send us your cutter to have, and I'll, and I'll put it back into place.